What's up, gang? I'm headed down to Minel, headed down to Nashville, Minel headquarters tomorrow, to film some performance videos and some teaching videos. And here's what's on my kit. Let's go through the cymbals first, and then let's talk about drums, because I got a couple fun little extra guys on here that I'm able to do some pretty fun stuff with. First, the hi-hat. This is, for me, the quintessential hi-hat. It just sounds like a hi-hat's supposed to sound. It's the 14-inch Byzance Foundry Reserve with medium and small ajuke bells from Minel on top. Beautiful. Solid chick, nice sort of medium, just a hi-hat, sounds like a hi-hat. We got one of my go-to crashes here, the Byzance uh, uh, Jazz Medium Thin Crash, that's 18 inch. We've got the, this is like another quintessential symbol. This to me is what a crash is supposed to sound like and everything else is kind of uh, 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 a take on it. This is the 19 inch medium thin crash. And then we've got the ride. I've used this ride more than any other ride. This is the 22 inch tradition ride. got the dual, this is a 20 inch dual crash ride. Uh, a symbol that I, I'm starting to use more and more lately. I just find that it's actually got a cool little ride sound. And obviously it's a nice crash. I didn't hit these, this is what it sounds like. All I have right now is two overheads and a crotch mic. So that's all, you're, that's all you're hearing for the whole kit. And then this little stack down here, this is actually a placeholder. This is the double down stack, which is great. It was not really what I'm going for sound wise with this uh, set of videos. I'm gonna use um, the Annika Niles, what are they called? Fat hats, is that what they're called? The signature, her signature, 18 inch fat hats. Uh, I don't have those though. So I put that there and there's a chain ring on top. Now let's talk about these drums because this is where things get fun. There's some boring stuff, right? So there's a snare drum. I've got, it's a DW True Sonic snare drum. It has this really cool um, floating snare uh, uh, mechanism on the bottom that's a little hard to show. It's based on an old, I believe, what's it called? The Dynasonic. Sounds amazing, super crispy, super uh, uh, cracky. 16 inch, 18 inch floor toms, cool. Then this is kind of the fun part up here. These three things next to each other are really fun. These two Minel drums, these are more from like Minel percussion department. Um, they're called drummer snare timbales or drummer timbali snares. So you've got an eight inch one that gives you this really cracky short little And you've got this 10 inch one that's a little bigger. And then I've got instead of a 12 inch tom like I usually do, a 10 inch tom here. It's actually from a different kit. You can see it's got the gold hardware. Let's brighten it up a little bit for us here. Gold hardware, the red maple mahogany wood. It's a beautiful drum from a beautiful kit. Um, but just threw that in there and it sounds really Fun. So moving between these is awesome. I'm playing some stuff. Let me do this one-handed. Yeah. Uh, in the in the song, one of the things I'm doing here sounds like this. Right, a little bit of stuff like that. And then you start mixing in this high tom in there. Boom, uh, a little higher than I'm used to, which is really fun. So this is just pulling me in some new directions. What else we got? We got DW9000 on the kick like usual. We got a DW9000 two-legged hi-hat stand, 20-inch kick drum, and this outer ply that I got custom of Olive Ash Burl. Makes this kit so beautiful. So for this set of Minel Performance videos, that's what's on the kit. Catch you soon.